Hello and welcome to this session. Today, we will continue our journey of essential English grammar. And we will be discussing articles. You think it's an easy topic? Well, yes, it's an easy topic. I agree. But don't worry, as we progress, we will see some real gruesome problems coming our way. Gruesome problems, but not a gruesome subject. Gruesome, so gruesome problems to make the subject interesting for you, right? Not to make it boring and dull for you. Essential English grammar is what? It is your information. It is your knowledge. It is your kin that's going to work as some kind of a backdrop tool. It is going to work as a weapon for you. Will it have a direct impact on your speech? Yes, it's going to have a direct impact on your speech as well. But it will be more like a subconscious tool working for you. In your practice of spontaneous speech, shadowing and coterie talk, you will realize that this background information, this subconscious knowledge, this subconscious weapon is helping you to speak better English. And I'm just waiting to see my live participants emerge as great speakers, become great speakers, champ speakers. And those of you who are following me on YouTube, following this course on YouTube, are equally loved and they're equally cared for. They should also become champ speakers and you can all become champ speakers. Anyone following this course can be a pro speaker if he or she is willing to practice and practice as hard and as smart as I suggest. With that said, let's say hello to some of our participants before starting with the presentation. Here we go. Hemanta, hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, sir, what about you? I'm good too. How about the practice? How's the practice going? The practice is going perfectly, sir. I'm practicing all the three things like code retalk, uh, spontaneous speech and uh, that shadowing exercise as well. Very good. And uh, do you sense an improvement in your speech? Yeah, sir. I am sensing the improvement. The first thing I need is the confidence while speaking. <laughs> so when I'm among these uh, five, ten, or 12 participants, I feel a little bit confident. Good to know that, Hemanta. You are well on your way to becoming a champ. And I appreciate your spirit and your levels of motivation because I do understand that you are not following this course right from the start. You yes. started out pretty late and yet you are doing very well. Yet you are showing that enthusiasm, that motivation that one needs to do go on and on and on. You have that perseverance. I'm very happy to see you doing this course so well, practicing so hard and practicing so smart. So thanks Thank for you. thanks for thanks for being a part of this course and thanks for taking time finding time out to be a part of this session. Okay, moving on. Hello Sneha, how are you? Hello, sir. I'm good. I am great. Never been better before. <laughs> great. So good to know that. So good to know that. Okay. That how is... I'm great. I'm great. I've never been better before. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I write all the things you said and then like I write it. So, so... So just to remember everything, I'm not skip. That shows that shows your devotion. That shows your devotion to the cause. And I'm so glad, Sneha, that you have joined this course and you have found time to join us today. And uh, you are on your way 
to becoming a great speaker, pro speaker. Welcome again. All right. Manisha, hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Great. I've never been better before. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you? Same here. I've never been better before. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. Thank you for finding time out, Manisha. Good to see you here. And uh, I'm very happy to see the regularity of your practice, right? And I have no doubts that you will be a great speaker. Great speaker. Okay, and that too will and that day will come very soon. Already you are speaking very well. You will be at the top quite soon. All right. Thank you, sir. But I want to say something. Sure. Sir, when uh, there was uh, like the, yesterday there was some conversation kind of thing exercise. And when you were explaining all that, you were like, okay, I don't want to be preachy. I'm sorry if you're finding that I'm giving you gyan. <laughs> so that was not like, uh, that is something that we were, uh, we were not bored of. In fact, we cherish all that thing. So please keep sharing all your immense knowledge. I appreciate it. And, <laughs> and I'm sure that everyone else also appreciate that thing. Thank you, Manisha. Thank you so very much. So you you want the Guru Gyan, Guru Gyan to continue, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, Neha, you want to say something? No, sir. I I just uh, want to say that I am. I also want. I have also the same thing. She okay. say right, right, right. So you've given me the license to give you the Guru Gyan. Now a lot of yes. Guru a lot of Guru Gyan is going to follow. Thank in, you so in, much. In a Bajrangi Bhaijan movies, uh, when Muni didn't want to want to speak, so she said yes. So I do like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Great. 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 Thank you. Right. Lekha. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Okay. And how's the practice going? Better. Every Better. day is perfect. Nothing perfect. Is, yes. Nothing is bad in my life. Perfect. Everything is perfect. <laughs> good, 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 good. I'm so happy, Lekha. Your uh, your youthful exuberance is so wonderful that it has a magnetic effect. It actually pulls everybody towards you, towards your dynamic personality. I'm very happy. And uh, the best part about you, I've said this before and I'm saying it again, is your truthfulness. You're very truthful. You, you, you have the courage to call a spade a spade. Very few people have that courage. So be like this always, right? You're a wonderful okay. girl, a wonderful human being. Um, and all your friends are very lucky to have you. Somebody, a friend like you is always good to have. And this batch, I tell you, is so full of great people, beautiful, lovely people, right? Geniuses, of course, and also great people people who are willing to help each other, people who are soft-spoken, who demonstrate civility in every possible way. So I'm so glad to be a part of this group. Okay, Nitesh, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you, sir? I am good. How are you? I am also great. <laughs> I'm doing Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, sir. Nice to know that. Nice to know that. Right. Um, okay, Seema, I know you're not well, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not request you to be on the camera because I know you're not well. But um, I would still like to know how is your health now? Have has? Uh, are you a little better? Have are you yes, taking sir. medicines? Yes, sir. I'm taking medicine and little better. Okay. Maybe maybe in weekend I. I will be more better because sir, certainly, the certainly. whole week was so hectic and due to uh, inspection uh, issues. So I need to go to school on daily basis. Mm. And that's why there is, no, there is not much improvement in my health. Indeed, indeed. True. So tomorrow will be off and after that Sunday also I will have. So maybe on Monday, I will be more better. Yes, you should give yourself good rest. You must take good rest. 
a teacher's a teacher's job is not easy i understand your issues because a teacher is not just teaching but also doing a lot of administrative work for example i uh, am a teacher a trainer uh, on one hand but the amount of work that i have to do yes sir same here with me that's that's the, uh, the, the work other than the teaching work so yes, lot sir. of work so i understand your issues seema that administrative work is also very very gruesome so actually, thank sir, you actually, for uh, yeah. actually uh, the kind of ministerial work is very new for me and i need to learn many things in that and i need to be so vigilant and after that even there there is uh, uh, there is uh, so some kind of mistake mistakes are being done so it gives so much tension to me as well many of the times because Indeed. there is nobody to you know, for guidance this kind of yes seema i understand sometimes even if uh, somebody makes an error even a bona fide mistake a mistake that might happen inadvertently can also cause jitters i know people can be very unkind uh, very ruthless in the administrative machinery so um, i do understand your predicaments and i do understand how much hard work you must be putting in despite being unwell and i'm so glad that despite being unwell you have chosen to be a part of this session thank you so much seema right thank you sir thank you dear okay mohit good evening good evening sir how are you doing i'm fine sir how are you okay let me again um, say what johnny used to say i'm great i've never been better before okay <laughs> all right we, on that positive note we uh, finish the this initial part of the session and now let's move on to the presentation be ready for the exercises all of you okay here we go all right just one second please just give me a second right all right so we will be discussing articles today hey there are just three of them of course there there are just three of them uh and and the simple you see okay introduction an article is an expression we use before a noun to signal whether the noun is specific or general i repeat an article is an expression we use before a noun to signal whether the noun is specific or general which practically means what kind of an object are we talking about are we talking about any object or are we talking about a specific object when i say a pencil i could mean any pencil when i say a ball i could mean any ball when i say a footballer i mean any footballer when i say a teacher i mean any teacher when i say a girl i mean any girl when i say a boy i mean any boy when i say an apple i mean any apple when i say an umbrella i mean any umbrella but when i say the tree i mean a specific tree when i say the girl i mean one particular girl when i say the boy i mean one particular boy so that is how we manage we we use articles 
All right. Okay. So, the three articles we use in the English language are a, an, and the. A and an are indefinite articles since they refer to non-specific things. Non-specific things. When we use the expressions a or an, we are not referring to any particular object. We are talking about any object, a camera, any camera, an orange, any orange, right? So that's why a and an are indefinite articles because they do not point at definite articles, definite nouns, definite objects. The is the definite article because it relates to specific things. I've already given examples of the, the pen, a particular pen, the book, a particular book. So that is how, that is why we call the a definite article because it points at definite things. Going ahead. There's a rule I... Probably we haven't covered this in this presentation. I'm just telling you this. When we say a sentence, mutter a sentence in English, and we refer to the same person for the second time, we use the word, we use the article the. First time we use a or an, because the first time we mention an object or mention a person, we use the indefinite articles a uh, or an. Because when we mention that person for the first time in the sentence, it is not our intention to suggest that we are talking about a specific person or a specific thing. But when we refer to the same person or thing for the second time in the same sentence, we use the definite article the. For example, a girl met me at the marketplace and we exchanged smiles. And thereafter, the girl left. See, when I mentioned the girl for the first time in the sentence, I used the article a. Uh. When I refer to the same person for the, in the, for the second time in that sentence, I used the article the. I repeat, a girl met me in the market today or whenever, and we exchanged smiles. And thereafter, the girl left. So when I talk about the girl for the first time, I say a. Uh. Second time in the same sentence, I refer to the same girl as the. Likewise, a boy was playing tennis in the court. And after a while, the boy looked at me and smiled. When I talk about the same person, the boy, for the first time, I use the article a. Uh. But, I, when I, but when I talk about the same boy for the second time in the sentence, I use the definite article the. I repeat the sentence. A boy was playing tennis in the court and after some time, he stopped playing. After some time, the boy stopped playing and looked at me and smiled. So, a uh, for the first time, the for the second time. Remember that. Okay, moving on. This rule is not specifically there, not explicitly mentioned in this article. That's why I thought I should tell you about it. All right. Indefinite article, a. Uh, I think we have, I've explained this enough. I'll not be spending too much time on these slides. Let's look at each of these articles in more detail. A. Uh, the first of the indefinite articles is used before words which begin with a consonant sound. Remember, consonant sound, not necessarily a consonant. I can say a cat, a bat, a light, a fan, a boy, a girl. All these words start with consonant sounds. Consonant sounds, remember, not, conson not words beginning with consonants. Consonants. The five vowels are A, E, I, O, U. There are certain words 
that can start with vowel sounds. There are many words that start, start with vowel sounds. But it is not necessary that a word will start with a vowel sound only if it has a vowel in the beginning. For example, the word hour, hour, H O U R, hour. Hour starts with H, but it, we still say it starts with a vowel sound. So we'll say an hour. I spent an hour, not a hour. Right? Keep all these are certain things that you have to keep in mind. Every language is funny. English is a funny language too. For example, we saw a movie yesterday. Movie starts, the word movie starts with a consonant sound. That is why we have used the article A. We saw a movie yesterday. Or oh, I have a book about grammar. A book. B. B is a consonant sound. M is a consonant sound. Movie starts with M sound. Book st starts with B sound. That is why we are using the indefinite article A. Uh. Moving on. Indefinite article an. We use an, the second indefinite article before words, regardless of what letters they start with. I just explained this. That begin with a vowel sound. For example, an hour is all I need to finish this work. I don't say a hour is all I need to finish this work. Although the word hour, H-O-U-R, starts with a consonant letter, but the sound is vowel, right? So an hour. And there are some exceptions to this rule. For example, we will never be saying an university. We will always say a university. We will never be saying an European. We will always say a European. So there are certain exceptions to this rule. I have an idea for a new story. I have an idea for a new story. An idea. Idea starts with a vowel sound and starts with a vowel letter also, I. That's why we say, I have an idea. I don't say, I have an idea. I'll never say that. I have an idea for a new story. Okay, moving on. Definite article, the. The is used before singular and plural nouns when the noun is specific or particular. The girl, when I'm talking about a particular girl. The boy, when I'm talking about a particular boy. The pen, when I'm talking about a particular pen. The book, when I'm talking about a particular book. The ground, when I'm talking about a particular ground. So that's why the is a definite, the definite article. The is used before singular and plural nouns when the noun is specific or particular. For example, I read the book that you recommended. Do you see the cat in the tree? The is also used before adjectives that describe a specific group of people or things. For example, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Sometimes we use the, the article the before adjectives when that adjective is supposed to represent a class, a class of people. When I say the rich, I mean rich in general. The rich are sometimes very compassionate. The poor cannot meet their ends. The intelligent never try to demonstrate their intelligence. So the definite article the can be used before adjectives when we are talking about a class of people, right? So he is one of the best basketball players in the world. He is one of the best basketball players in the world. I am talking a particular basketball player. That is why he is one of the best basketball players in the world. All right, moving on. Now the exercises. Are you ready for the exercises? It's time now to test your understanding of articles. Let's see how our learned participants fare today. I'm sure they'll do well, right? I'm sure they'll do well. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, all right, all right. There we are. All right. Exercise one. Fill in the blanks with the correct articles. Leave the blanks unfilled if no article is needed. If you think no article is required to be filled in, 
just leave the sentence. I'll solve the first, sen first, first problem alone. And you will also have to repeat the problem. Although I'll be giving you the solution, you'll have to repeat it nonetheless. I have dash apple. I have an apple appears to be the most appropriate. Okay. Nitesh, starting with you. I have dash apple. Give me the full I, answer. I have an apple. Well done. I have an apple. Lekha, we went to dash beach yesterday. We went to a beach yesterday. We went to a beach yesterday is correct. We went to the beach yesterday will also be correct. Okay. Depending upon the context, we can use both the articles. Right? A would, yes. mean, a would mean we are talking about any of the beaches and the means a particular beach. Right? So depending upon the context, any of these articles will be correct. Okay, Sneha. Do you want dash oats or dash milk? Do you want uh, oats or uh, milk? Think over. Think again, you, Sneha. Do you want an oats or a milk? Think again. Do you want the oats or the milk? Think again. <laughs> Do you want an oats or the milk? The question says, leave the blanks unfilled if no article is needed. Uh, do you want? Do you want? Do you want oats or a milk? Leave the blanks unfilled if no article is needed. <laughs> do you want oats or milk? Yes, that's the answer. Do you want oats or milk? That's it. All right, Pallavi. This is. Dash, best restaurant in the city. This is the best restaurant in the city. Very good. This is the best restaurant in the city. Manisha, I'd like dash coffee, please. I would like a coffee, please. Think again. Think again. I, I would like coffee, please. Yes, correct answer. I'd like coffee, please. All right. Hemanta. Is there dash theater nearby? Is there any theater nearby? Yeah, theater. Talking about articles. Yes, yeah. is, correct. Is, 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 there, there, a is there a theater nearby? All right. We are dealing with articles. Why should my learned participants get bamboozled by these puzzles? Huh? These are so simple. All right. I'm joking. You can never get bamboozled. You will get, you will bamboozle the puzzles rather. Right? You cannot get bamboozled. All right. All right. Okay. Mohit. Mohit. Could you give me dash directions to the nearest post office? Could you give me the directions to the nearest post office? Very good. Could you give me the directions to the nearest post office? Well done. Sanjay. There's dash man at the door for for you. There's dash man at the door for you. There's a man at the door for you. Well done. There's a man at the door for you. Well done. These are the solutions. Check them up later. Exercise two. Fill in the blanks with the correct articles. Leave the blanks unfilled if no article is needed. Seema, my favorite subjects in school are art, Dash arts and dash history. Can't hear you, Sneha. Uh, sorry, Seema, Seema, Seema. Yes. yes, sir. My favorite subjects in school are dash arts and dash history. My favorite subjects in school are art and history. Perfect. No articles needed. My favorite yes. subjects in school are arts and history. Well done. All right, Nitesh, there are dash clouds in the sky, so it might rain later. Uh, there are clouds in the sky, so it might rain later. Well done, my dear, well done. No articles needed. There are clouds oh, in the sky, so it might rain later. Well done. All right, Lekha, 
dash sun is shining today. The sun is shining today. Well done. The sun is shining today. Spot on. Okay, Sneha. We have to hurry or we'll be late for Dash movie. We have to hurry or we will be late for a movie. Think again, my dear. We have to hurry or we will be late for the movie. Yes, because you are going to see a particular movie. Catch the context. Well done. We have to hurry or we'll be late for the movie. Pallavi, we are going to visit my aunt in Dash Hospital tomorrow morning. We are going to visit my aunt in, in the hospital tomorrow morning. Okay, here the and a. Uh. If, if you go by my understanding, a uh and the both will do. Right? Both will do. All right. Okay, Manisha. I don't think Dash new teacher is very strict. I don't think new teacher is very strict. Think again. Think again. I don't think the new teacher is very strict. Yes, correct. You are talking about a particular teacher. I don't think the new teacher is very strict. Well done. Hemanta, I am going to buy Dash new shoes tomorrow. I am going to buy new shoes tomorrow. Well done. No articles needed. I am going to buy new shoes tomorrow. Well done. Mohit, do you want Dash sugar in your coffee? Mohit, do you want sugar? Do you want dash sugar in your coffee? Do you want sugar in your coffee? Perfect. Do you want sugar in your coffee? No articles needed. Well done. Okay. These are the solutions. Exercise three. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate definite. That is the or indefinite a or an article. Simple question. Sanjay. She wants to buy dash new car. She wants to buy a new car. Perfect. She wants to buy a new car. Well done. Okay. Seema, we visited dash Eiffel Tower during our trip to Paris. Sir, 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 she visited the Eiffel Tower during our trip to Paris. Spot on. We visited the Eiffel Tower during our trip to Paris because there is just one Eiffel Tower. There are not, there are not many. Otherwise, yes. we would have said we visited an Eiffel Tower. We can't say that because there's just one Eiffel Tower. Yes. Now, when I'm telling you this, please keep it in mind. When you use the definite article T-H-E before a word that starts with a vowel sound like Eiffel, we say the, T-H-E, we pronounce it as the, the Eiffel Tower, the eatery, right? The orange, the apple, the ostrich. And when we use T-H-E before a word that sta starts with a consonant sound, we pronounce it as the, the girl, the boy. The man, the woman, the school, right? I hope this concept is clear. All right. Nitesh, I have dash book that you lent me. I have the book that you lent me. Spot on. I have the book that you lent me. Well done. Lekha. Can you pass me dash salt, please? Can you pass me the salt, please? Spot on. Can you pass me the salt, please? Right. Can you pass me the salt, please? We'll never, for goodness sake, say, can you pass me a salt, please? I mean, what are you talking about? Some damn granule of salt? Some bloody, some damn particle of salt? What are you talking about? Some, some grain of salt? You're talking about salt. As a, as a class of things. That's why the salt. 
Can you pass me the salt? Please. Well done, Lekha. All right. Okay, Seema. He is Dash, excellent musician. He is an excellent musician. Sir. Absolutely right. He is an excellent musician. Well done. Pallavi. <clears throat> they went to Dash Beach for vacation. They went to a beach for vacation. Perfect. They went to a beach for beach. vacation. Well done. Manisha, she is learning to play dash piano. She is learning to play the piano. Perfect. Well done. This was a tricky one. You pulled it off well. She is learning to play the piano. Here, piano is representing a class of musical instruments. So this person in question is not learning just to play one, one piano alone. If somebody is learning how to play piano, he or she can play every piano. That is why the piano. She is learning to play the piano. Very well done. Hemanta, we had dash amazing time at the concert. We had the amazing time at the concert. What did you say again? Repeat. We had the amazing time at the concert. Hemanta, think again. We had an amazing time at yes, the concert. Yes, yes. Amazing. Amazing. The word starts with a vowel sound. That's why we had an amazing time at the concert. Well done. The, okay. Mohit. The cat is sleeping on dash couch. The cat is sleeping on the couch. Well done. The cat is sleeping on a particular couch as we can sense from the sentence itself, from the tenor of the sentence itself. That is why we say the cat is sleeping on the couch. Well done. Okay. Sanjay, she is wearing dash beautiful dress. She is wearing a beautiful dress. Well done. She is wearing a beautiful dress. Okay. Moving on. Seema, decide whether to omit the article or not. You just have to tell me whether an article is needed or not. If, and if an article is needed, what article is correct? I need dash umbrella because it's raining. Sir, I need an umbrella because it's raining. Spot on. I need an umbrella because it's raining. Well done. Okay, Nitesh. He wants to be dash astronaut when he grows up. He wants to be an astronaut when he grows up. Well done. He wants to be an astronaut when he grows up. Well done. Lekha, we have dash class in the morning. Which question, sir? Question number three. We have, we have a class in the morning. We have a class in the morning is correct, my dear. Why were you straining your eyes? You were looking like this. What? So there was a call, so I couldn't move that call. Okay. So I thought it, okay. it will disturb the class. All right, all right. There was a call. Okay. No problem. No problem. And thank, <clears throat> thank you for your concern. All right. Sneha. She is going to be dash doctor. She is going to be a doctor. Well done. She is going to be a doctor. All right. Pallavi. He is learning to play dash guitar. He is learning to play the guitar. Well done. He is playing. He is learning to play the guitar. Manisha. They went to dash museum yesterday. They went to the museum yesterday. To the museum is correct. To a museum also may be correct. Okay, but the is sounding better. Well done. All right. Okay. Uh, now, we, we, it will be Hemanta. Hemanta. Can you pass me dash salt, please? There are some repetitions, but these are deliberate. Go ahead. Can you pass me dash salt, please? Can you pass me the salt, please? Well done. Well done. Can you pass me the salt, please? Okay. 
Mohit. I am reading dash interesting book. I'm reading an interesting book. I'm reading an interesting book. Perfect. Sanjay, she is taking dash ballet class. She is taking the ballet class. She is taking the ballet ballet class. Good. She is taking a ballet class. It's not ballet. It is ballet. Ballet. B a l l e t. Ballet. Ballet is a form of dance. We don't say it's ballet. It is ballet. She is taking a ballet class. Correct. All right. Seema, we saw dash eagle flying in the sky. So we saw an eagle flying in the sky. Perfect. We saw an eagle flying in the sky. Spot on. All right. Nitesh, fill in the blanks with the appropriate article. Dash milk in the fridge has gone bad. The milk in the fridge has gone bad. Very well done. The milk in the fridge has gone bad. Well done. Okay, Sneha. She bought dash new dress for the party. She bought a new dress for the party. Well done. She bought a new dress for the party. Pallavi, they drank dash coffee at the cafe. They drank coffee at the cafe. Well done, my dear. Very well answered. That was a tricky one. No article needed. Well done. They drank coffee at the coffee. cafe. Okay, Manisha. He ate dash apple that was on the table. He ate the apple that was on the table. Well done. He ate the apple that was on the table. Well done. Okay, Hemanta. We need dash flow to bake the cake. We need flour to bake the cake. Well done. No articles needed. We need flour to bake the cake. Well done. Lekha. The teacher gave us dash assignment to complete. The teacher gave us an assignment to complete. Well done. The teacher gave us an assignment to complete. Okay. Mohit. Dash sugar you added is too much. Uh, the sugar you added is too much. Indeed. The sugar you added is too much. Well done. Sanjay. She is learning to play dash piano. She is learning to play the piano. Absolutely correct. She is learning to play the piano. Seema. He is reading dash interesting article in the newspaper. Uh, sir, he is reading an interesting article in the newspaper. Spot on. He is reading an interesting article in the newspaper. Nitesh, they saw Dash movie at the theater. They saw a movie at the theater. Well done. They saw a movie at the theater. Never go by grammar rules. Only... Bank on your gut feeling for the answer. Your gut feeling, your instincts will give you the correct answer. That's how English is learned. English is not learned with somebody sitting with a ruler and teaching you the rules of grammar. Okay, that's not how you learn English. Okay. All right. Okay. Exercise six. Choose the correct article for each blank. Sneha. She is dash best singer in the choir. She is a best singer. She is the best singer in the choir. Well done. She is the best singer in the choir. Okay. Pallavi, we saw Dash movie at the cinema. We saw a movie at the cinema. Well done. We saw a movie at the cinema. Manisha, they have Dash beautiful garden in their backyard. They have a beautiful garden in their backyard. Perfect. They have a beautiful garden in their backyard. Well done. Okay, Lekha. He wants to become dash astronaut. He wants to become an astronaut. Well done. He wants to become an astronaut. Okay, Mohit. Can you pass me dash salt, please? 
can you pass me the salt please perfect can you pass me the salt please okay sanjay she is reading dash interesting book sir one skip question okay okay sorry i need dash new laptop for my work i need a new laptop for my work perfect i need a new laptop for my work okay seema she is reading dash interesting book same question for you again but go yes ahead. sir go ahead answer answer she, she is reading an interesting book fine you can take the next one also seema they yes, live sir. they live in dash old house on the corner they live uh they live in an old house on the corner perfect they live in an old house on the corner okay nitesh we went to dash beach last weekend we went to the beach last weekend we went to the beach last weekend will do we went to a beach last weekend will also do correct okay sneha the cat is sleeping on dash couch the cat is sleeping on the couch the cat is sleeping on the couch is correct some repetitions are there for reinforcements of learning i hope you understand that okay going ahead just one second okay exercise 7 fill in the blanks with the correct article pallavi they saw dash amazing sunrise over the mountains they saw an amazing sunshine over the mountains they saw an amazing sunrise over the mountains correct manisha she is learning to play dash guitar she is learning to play the guitar perfect she is learning to learning to play the guitar okay lekha he has dash interesting story to tell he has an interesting story to tell indeed he has an interesting story to tell okay hemanta we went to dash zoo and saw dash lions we went to a zoo and saw lions we can right. say we went to the zoo and saw lions well we went to a zoo and saw the lions is good we went to the zoo and saw the lions will also do both will do okay well done all right mohit I need dash umbrella because it's raining. I need an umbrella because it's raining. Well done, Sanjay. She bought dash beautiful necklace for her birthday. She bought a beautiful necklace for her birthday. Indeed, she bought a beautiful necklace for her birthday. Seema, they are going on dash vacation next month. Sir, so they are going on on a vacation next month. uh try again on um, on so they are going on vacation we host no no you you or maybe uh, we can use the no, they are the, going on the vacation next month the will not sound good you, what you i know you know the answer but it was it was a slip of the tongue uh they are going on a vacation next month is correct you use the word an probably or maybe I, no, I think it, you used yes, so mistakenly. I think uh, mistakenly. I, have, I think it was yes, a yes. it was a slip of the tongue. That's why I I know you. So I give you the next question also. He is studying to be dash engineer. He is studying to be an engineer. Perfect. She he is studying to be an engineer. Great. All right, Nitesh. Can you pass me dash sugar, please? Can you pass me the sugar, please? Perfect. Sneha we visited dash Louvre museum in Paris uh, we visited the Louvre museum in Paris absolutely right we visited the Louvre museum in Paris never say the Louvre i've heard some indian top gun say louvre where did you go sir uh, i i went to the louvre museum it's not the louvre museum it's the louvre for goodness sake okay all right so i will plan to go oh you plan to go You are not going alone, yes. Sneha. You are not going alone. You are taking me along. I I want to see the Mona Lisa. Will you take we me along? Planning, I am planning to go in my birthday month. Oh, Paris. oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't don't worry. All of us are join. All all of us are going to join you, and it's it's all on you. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so kind on your part. Okay. All of you should visit the Louvre one day. 
I want to visit the Louvre. I want to see the Mona Lisa. I want to see the other beautiful paintings as well. Okay. And of course, there's so much more to see the Louvre. Louvre also reminds me, the, reminds me of the beautiful, the great thriller novel, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. What a beautiful book. Huh? Okay. All right. So now the last exercise of the day. Exercise eight. Now read the passage and fill in the blanks with the appropriate articles. Right? Now I would want only one of you to take this. Which of you would like to take this? I'm just reading out the art a paragraph for you. One day I was walking in Dash Park when I saw Dash Squirrel playing on Dash Tree. It was holding Dash Acorn in its tiny paws. I decided to sit on Dash Bench and watch. As I sat there, Dash Bird flew by and landed on Dash Branch above me. It started singing Dash. Most beautiful song. Suddenly, Dash elderly couple walked past me holding hands. They looked so happy. I felt lucky to witness such simple moments of nature and human connection. Who would like to do it? Raise your hands. Sir, may I? Sir, may I? Okay, Seema, go ahead. Seema, go ahead. One day I was walking in the park. Mm. In a park. Mm, yes. When I saw when I saw the when I saw a squirrel mm. playing yes. on the tree uh. on on a tree yes it was holding an acorn in its tiny paws correct uh, I decided to sit on on a bench yes. and watch yes as I sat there a bird, a bird flew by and landed on on the branch above mm, me. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, correct, correct. Go on, go on. Yes, right. It started singing the uh, most beautiful song. It started singing. Right. The most beautiful song. Correct. Suddenly, suddenly, an ad elderly couple walked past me. Correct. Holding hands, they look so happy. I felt lucky to witness the simple moments of nature and human connection. The, correct. One day I was walking in a park when I saw a squirrel playing on a tree. It was holding an acorn in its tiny paws. I decided to sit on a bench and watch. As I sat there, a bird flew by and landed on the branch above me. It started singing. The most beautiful song. Suddenly, an elderly couple walked past me holding hands. They looked so happy. I felt lucky to witness such simple moments of nature and human connection. Very well done, Seema. Very well done. And very well done, all of you. All of you have done a wonderful job. So these, this is the sol solutions to exercise eight. And now we are almost finishing this lesson i mean almost almost finishing this the, the exercises this presentation so what is the summary remember definite articles the are used to refer to specific or particular nouns by now we know that while indefinite articles a uh, and are used to refer to non specific or general nouns correct use the context of the sentence and the nature of the noun to determine which article to use. Very important. Use the context of the sentence and the nature of the noun to determine which article to use, right? You cannot solve grammar questions with a study of grammar, with a, with, with a theoretical understanding of, understanding of grammar. I always tell you, it is your gut feeling. It is your instinct. It is your intuition. That's going to work, right? Okay, now, Okay, Mohit. Mohit, can I have you on the camera, please? Mohit, by any chance, are you wearing socks? No, sir. Okay. Are you, do you have long sleeves? No, sir. 
doesn't matter <laughs> just roll up your imaginary sleeves and roll up and and pull up your imaginary socks and be ready to do a spontaneous now here we go okay sir right your topic is the need for balanced diet the need for balanced diet the need for oh. balanced diet shoot diet is very important in our lifestyle we should choose our diet very wisely if we eat good food then our health will be very well but if we eat junk food daily then it will be not good for our health we should try to eat our home made food rather than eating the food from the outside outlets and uh, eating healthy is very important there are many options in this like we can eat fruits and uh, many green vegetables but it is not uh, easy to eat healthy food every day because we all are humans uh, many times we like uh, to uh, to eat outside food so we should eat this also but on very few occasions like once a week or twice a week but we should not eat regularly because it has many harmful effects on our body and also on our mental health but at the young age we don't know about it much but uh, at the older age we see the harmful effects of eating junk food regularly if uh, we can't eat much there is many other option like we drink juices there are many kind of juices which are fruit you like you can drink this fruit juice the fruit juice of this fruit and uh, there are also an option like you can drink uh, coconut water it's completely natural thing which can which is available in market and you should you can make your home food very tasty by adding some like uh, spices and but a little and like onion tomato etc and uh, good diet you can also if you don't know which uh, you can add your diet there are also many dietitians uh, from them you can take suggestions they will guide you that uh, how can you make your diet chart for the for the day uh, but with diet you should also exercise so that so it is also the combined effect of diet and exercise will will be better for you and uh nothing is striking me nothing is striking me you should uh, it is very difficult to stick on the diet but you should try it for 21 days so that uh, it will become habit and then i also try to avoid junk food it's very difficult in starting but if you don't eat 7 to 10 days then it's not the craving of junk food will not come into your mind but in the beginning it's very hard but you should take this step until you take this step you will not achieve the your goal of eating good food or homemade food 
should try to eat healthy diet whenever you eat or drink nothing is that me or you can learn the recipes from youtube if you want to made it by yourself there are many youtube channels which will which will which will show you how you can made a good healthy diet and you can try you can l- learn it from this youtube channel and you can try to made it in your free time nothing and there are many outlets which also provide healthy food not every outlet is provide junk food try to find these outlets there are like there are many gym canteens which give you healthy food or the the best option is you can purchase food and you can eat it any time and you can also eat like dry fruits there are also important for our brain health like they contain omega 3 fatty acid and there are many things to eat but you should divide the healthy food and the unhealthy food and you should try to choose healthy food in your diet and avoid unhealthy food nothing is striking me nothing is striking me nothing is striking me nothing is striking me i uh, i don't eat non veg food so i can't talk about non veg but it's okay uh, okay okay that 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 will be okay that's good your time is over well done give him a huge you. round of applause please unmute yourselves and clap for him my dear friends yes okay. thank you all okay mohit well done yes. well done thank you uh, thank you certainly there were some breaks in between some disjointedness but i believe with practice all that will go um are you finding time for practice every day mohit yes sir but sometime it i skip sometime okay okay see uh, you have potential lot of it right you are an intelligent young boy and you have a lot of potential no doubt about that and uh, if you are telling me that your practice hasn't been regular and despite the fact that your practice hasn't been regular you pulled it off so well that shows you have tremendous amount of talent please use that talent and practice regularly and you will be a still better orator you are already very good you will be even better i'm very happy with your performance mohit very well done and thank you sir please make sure that you practice every day you are sir, doing... I am... hmm. sir i am not in any coterie okay i'll have to work on the coterie also i'll uh, not be talking about the coterie in the class there are certain issues with the coterie that uh, need to be discussed your coterie sneha's coterie some other coteries as well we'll be talking about all that i'll be writing lengthy messages on uh, the whatsapp forum and and try to work out um, some solutions for the coterie problems okay so that we'll certainly do later now let's see okay. what your friends are saying for you all right here we go all right so manisha writes well tried mohit fully agree seema writes good efforts mohit you did indeed and there are lots of thumbs up for you three thumbs up and three sets of claps okay then we have hemanta saying well done mohit indeed very well done sanjay says well done mohit good efforts indeed nitesh says well done mohit with regular practice you will definitely improve a lot you have great potential totally agree with um, our wonderful friend nitesh okay and then we have we have lekha writing i think it's his first spontaneous speech in this class nice performance with regular practice you will have confidence and of course you'll improve 
That's very well said, Neetha uh, Lekha. Indeed, I too feel that this is his first performance in the in the class, and given the fact that he hasn't been practicing regularly, this is certainly a very very creditable performance. Completely agree with what Lekha has said. Okay, moving ahead, Sneha. Sneha says, "Nice try, Mohit. You will be better day by day as you do regular practice. No doubt about that." And Mohit says, "Thank you all. Indeed, indeed. Well done. Well done." Okay, Manisha. Next, we'll hear from you. And my team says, "Great efforts, Mohit. Keep practicing." Indeed, my team is spot on. Okay, Manisha. Manisha, please say hello to me. Hello, sir. Hi, Manisha. Manisha, your topic for the spontaneous speech today is. Listen carefully. The topic is could be a little dicey. but i'm sure you'll you'll pull it off well you'll at least do a good job the topic is too much of anything is bad too much of anything is bad too much of anything is bad go ahead start manisha hello everyone and so today's topic is too much of anything is bad yes we all know that uh, uh, we have a life and uh, we all try to live it to the fullest and uh, we try everything that we should do like we all have dreams and aspirations and we want to full we want to fulfill all of that but uh, in life we should also also remember that uh, we should do everything in a in limited way like yes if you are doing something good that is fine do something for the society do something for yourself but every time i guess you should have a limit set to yourself and for others if you are helping then that's fine but you cannot help someone to that extent where you are losing yourself uh, this is what something that sir told us yes sir taught us yesterday so everything should be in limit and too much of anything is always bad and with this i i remember an example like uh, i am a science student so i re i read it in newspaper uh like everyone says that if you want a good skin i i'm not saying that it is only for girls <laughs> everyone wants a good skin and if you want to have a good skin good body and good health you should drink more water and everyone should do it because uh, now we know that there are problems of dehydration and everything so everyone should drink more uh, sh everyone should drink water but uh, there is also a study which says that you should not drink too much water because it can hamper your kidneys and when your kidneys will not be healthy then your body will not work in a way as it should do so you should not drink uh, you should not drink too much of water so it is a simple example which i am saying that water which is considered uh, which is considered like it is very uh, very necessary for us for our life in fact that uh, in fact that particular thing which is so necessary for us that too can uh, that too can harm us if it is uh, if it is done in excess so everything should be uh, done in a limited way and yes and, uh, and nothing is striking me nothing is striking me nothing is striking me and uh, yes uh, you can say that um, this uh, like i can only give examples in this i think because i'm not much of a philosophical person uh, but yes and if you are uh, like if you have some issues like if you are too emotional then you should have a control on that and i think in this generation and in which kind of age group we are we should have a control on our emotion like if you are too uh, givey person then that will be a problem for you if you are way too emotional that i feel i am sometimes <laughs> so that is also a kind of problem because uh, at some moment where i know that i should control my emotions and i should held back i should hold i should hold myself back at that time also i i cannot control myself and um, i think that it create some kind of problem for me so yes even if it is emotions then there also you should be you should have a limit for yourself and uh, you should you should control this and how you can control this uh, you can control this by having a self talk to yourself this is not just in a way of emotion i'm saying this is like a normal thing because every time if you are getting something uh, beneficial then you would like to do that thing uh, much regularly or oftenly but uh, you should uh, talk to yourself and say that okay we should not do this thing so oftenly and uh, we should have a control and for this i feel that everyone should have a positive self talk to themselves 
once in a while and like every day or once in a week and for that we need time which we are not getting right now because of our busy schedule uh, so as we get some time on weekends we should talk to ourselves i know this is not from the topic <laughs> but i'm saying i'm so sorry and uh, yes uh, too much of anything is bad uh, yes um, uh, nothing is striking me 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 uh, like if uh, if it is something good that you are doing uh, that you should keep doing it uh, i'm not saying that just stop doing it uh, uh, completely but like you should keep doing it but uh, make a mark for yourself that okay this is the point where i will tolerate uh, i will tolerate something and this is the point where i will give something to others but after that just stop right there and uh, think about it because everything that is done in excess will only give i will only harm you and for that and i think in this you can seek help of others too because sometimes when you are in that state or you are doing something uh, because no one tries to do anything bad for them so at that time when you are not able to decide that uh, where you should stop yourself then you, there you can take help of others of uh, of those person with uh, which you of those persons whom you feel that uh, uh they think good of you then you can talk to them and they may advise you better on that term on that note so yes and uh, yes nothing is striking me nothing is striking me nothing is striking me and uh, but uh, uh sorry nothing is striking me nothing is nothing is striking me 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 and uh, anything is bad. i'm so sorry sir i'm so sorry <laughs> nothing is just taking nothing is just taking nothing is taking me nothing is taking me, 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 me but uh, i know that topic is that uh, uh, too much of anything is bad but i think there are something that if you uh, if you give others that uh, that will do good for you and for the society for example if you care for others and if you have some love in yourself that you can share that those things that you should not stop sharing that you should do regularly and um, in those emotions you should not be stingy uh, just share those emotions with everyone and uh, like for example knowledge like everyone who has knowledge and as like in teacher profession that uh, we know that um, uh, a teacher always likes to teach and uh, sometimes sir also gets so busy with uh, with all the uh, with all this busy schedule and uh, his health is deteriorating so sir <laughs> you should teach us and i really like to oh, be taught by you but I... <laughs> at that time <laughs> you should uh, also take care of very good care of your health so yes too much that... of anything is bad <laughs> <laughs> thank I'm you so manisha <laughs> your time is over and you did really well wow performance please give her a huge round of applause all of you don't be stingy now don't be stingy come on clap hemanta clap for your friend sneha lekha come on the camera and clap for your friend please sneha clap for your friend lekha clap for your friend lekha my dear lekha you are usually not yes there you are all right uh well manisha very well done it was not an easy topic to speak on and and the fact that you have the courage to say nothing is striking me when nothing strikes you is again an indication of that inner strength i'm very impressed you are a very bright student and a bright performer and i can tell you as far as oratory goes you have a brilliant future you just see how things change for you in a few months from now your juniors your seniors your colleagues your friends your family will look up look up at you with so much of pleasant surprise and awe i mean you already speak very very well you're a good speaker but then when you start speaking like a super champ mm -hmm. they will all be inspired by you very well done fantastic performance we have had two very good performances today one uh, from one of course from mohit mohit has for some reasons left it seems so let's see what compliments our very dear friend manisha has got from 
uh, her friends. Okay. All right. Seema writes, amazing performance, dear Manisha, with so practical examples, so many practical examples you have quoted here. Simply great. And she has given you three thumbs up, four sets of, four, four claps, of course, and four hearts as well, right? You, you deserve all these wonderful gifts. My team says, what a performance, brilliant performance. You are really a deep thinker. Your views are distinct and inspiring. Completely agree with my team, Manisha. Really well done. Hemanta says, very well, Manisha. You stole the show. Oh, yes, you stole the show. Yes. Completely agree with him also. Manisha says, I'm sorry, sir. I know it could have been better. That is, that is the sign of a true champion. Okay, somebody who is not completely satisfied despite the fact that the performance is good you are not satisfied you feel that you could have done much better no problem anisha by your standards and by your evaluation you might not have done that well but we certainly feel that you are great let's uh, well we have been talking about kishore kumar quite a lot these days let me tell you a very interesting story okay so there was one song okay just one minute right just one minute, please. Just give me a minute. Yesterday, when I said that this is a teacher's privilege, Isha said, no, it is not a teacher's privilege. It's a son's privilege. So you can see the son's privilege again. My cutie mother has got me some refreshing cup of tea. I tell you, I love this cup of tea. You know, when, uh, when I'm writing and when I'm kind of getting deep into the plot and mother gives me this brimming cup of coffee or some refreshing cup of tea. It is such a wonderful, such a great fuel to have. Anyway, so I wish I could, I mean, I'm not selfish. I wish I could pass it on, pass on one cup to each one of you. But what can I do? This is a virtual room. Otherwise, I would have given to all of you. Okay. I would have passed on my mother's love to each one of you. All right. So, uh, completely agree, Manisha. You stole the show indeed. And when you say that you did not, uh, you could have done it better. Well, for creative and intelligent girls and boys, it's always that way. They, are, they, they do very well, but they, they still feel they could, they could do better. As for me, I'm very satisfied. I'm very happy with you, Manisha. Right? Very happy with you. And I'm truly impressed with you. Okay. And Sneha says, well done, Manisha. Super performance. Agree with her. Sanjay says, brilliant, wonderful performance. Well done, Manisha. Sanjay is spot on. And Lekha says, Amazing performance, Manisha. I eagerly wait for your speech as you speak with a great clarity and your speech is very thoughtful. Lekha waits for your speech eagerly and I'm sure many of your friends eagerly wait for your speech because you are a true performer, great performer. Nitesh says, extraordinary performance, Manisha, on such a tough topic. Amazing. Keep it up. Totally agree with all your friends. And now... Today, is an, today, since it's Friday, it's an entertainment day, but don't worry. We are not going to have a song today. Uh, Manisha writes, thank you so much, everyone. Not that you would worry too much if there were a song also. But today, I would want one of you to tell us something interesting, something entertaining, possibly informative as well. I will request Nitesh, right? It's not a spontaneous speech. You are just, just telling us a story now. Tell us about some interesting event, any interesting event of your life, from your childhood, from, from now, from the past, or, or you can even, don't imagine an event. Tell us a real event that happened in your life and that took you by surprise or gave you a lot of pleasure. Whatever. I leave it to you. 
right? I'm giving you the big screen. Please entertain us. Please entertain us with your story. Here mm -hmm. we go. Yes, Nitesh. Oh. Uh, oh, well, actually, uh, yesterday there was a topic that uh, what, an interesting dream that you had in past. Actually, I have, I'm, I'm a great fan of studying about, reading about dreams, why we generally have dreams. So I have studied about different kinds of things and different concepts about dreams. So many of you may have known that there is a kind of dream where you get aware that you are actually dreaming and you kind of get the control of your whole dream. That's called lucid dreaming. So I think many of you have had that kind of experience. So actually, before actually, I didn't used to have this kind of experience when I studied about dreams and knew about that this kind, this kind of thing like lucid dreaming. So I found some of the techniques by using that. We can actually find out that we in the dream that we are dreaming. So I practice like uh, looking at your hands, like reading something printed. When you, uh, when you are dreaming, you cannot exactly actually understand what's printed in, in some book or something there. If you look at the wall, you cannot see the details. If you look at your hands, if you practice by, in general, when you are awake, you practice by looking at your hand at, at some interval of time. In your dream, you will do the same. And when you do the same, and if you're able to actually look the, uh, actually, lines of your hands, or try doing this. And in dreams, you try like, like doing this, it will pass, but in real life it won't. So if you try practicing this kind of thing, then in dream you'll be able to, you'll get aware about that you are dreaming. So when I practice uh, about a week doing these things, and when I, once I, I dream, I actually did this, it passed. I tried to look at my hands, I was unable to actually um, make what's there. Then I found that, yeah, it's a dream. Then I actually tried various things. And when you get aware about the dreams, then you try to see that the, the details of the dream increases. Your brain tries to actually make you feel that it's the reality. So when you see the characters of the dreams, they kind of actually kind of become really scary sometimes. So, uh, so I, when I got aware of the dream, I tried that I, I may fly and I jumped from, from, from a building, but I got so much excited that just I got out of the dream and I woke up. So I tried different things and different dreams, like, uh, like uh, 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 actually becoming a leader, becoming prime minister. Actually, I tried to actually uh, uh, control the people that are there in the dreams. Uh, once I was in a fair, uh, and there I tried to like, uh, 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 like uh, there was kind of uh, circus was going on, and I I tried to go near the lions and all this kind of things. So, uh, in actual, when, when you get aware about the dreams. Uh, it kind of feels like you are just, just like the king of the whole that uh, area. It's like feels like that. So anybody can actually try this. Another thing that you may have known about that, if I uh, don't know if you have experienced uh, sleep paralysis, and that that is uh, one of the most frightening things that happens to a person. When I used to uh, practice kind of uh, a meditation, the people say that when you let your body sleep, but your mind remains awake, then you feel the sleep paralysis. That your body is actually sleeping, but you you are actually aware of that. And that kind of a feeling is very frightening because you cannot move your body. So, and it, sometimes it's say that they, people feel that there's some demon sitting above you and putting you in the place. So, yeah. That kind of feeling I, I have only once, 
when I I was studying about this dreaming, sleeping things, I got I was very interested. Actually, I used to write articles. I I generally write articles on my website on my blog, and I have written that article about this uh, about this dream thing. There are around six seven. Okay. Okay, so I'll uh, I'm uh, extremely upset about the fact that you were talking about something so interesting, and uh, unfortunately, you know, there were internet issues on uh, my side. It is um, really a tragedy that uh, I could I missed out on a majority, a major part of the story that you uh, that you narrated, but uh, probably we will have a talk on this in the coming week and you may have to repeat it all over okay yeah. and um, good or desirable or standard so with that said all i can say is it has been a great great day all of you performed superbly we saw two terrific spontaneous performances one by mohit one by manisha both were difficult topics manisha uh, demonstrated what it's uh, what it's to be like when um, when you ought to be gutsy and when you're supposed to be speaking, even if the topic is difficult. So very well done. Nitesh was uh, Nitesh also narrated a beautiful a beautiful. Okay, uh, Nitesh also uh, was telling us a great story. I mean told us a great story um but the story not the story really this event we will make him repeat in the coming days and thank you very much all of you no classes tomorrow or day after enjoy the weekend tomorrow there will be an exercise tomorrow i'll be today is an exercise holiday no no need for spontaneous today no need for coterie talk your coteries are required to be regularized like your coteries are supposed to be worked on that we'll do very shortly and uh, I mean, that I'll do tomorrow, hopefully. And tomorrow I'll give you the topics for Coat Free Talk and the spontaneous. And of course, uh, for uh, you have the shadowing audio fi visual files already available on the YouTube. Day after tomorrow, you'll have a holiday. And from the exercises again, we meet now on Monday. And uh, hopefully we'll have another interesting session. We'll continue with Essential English Grammar. And we'll see two, two of you demonstrating spontaneous speeches okay thank you very much all of you have a great weekend take very good care of yourselves and 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 keep practicing well i know uh day after is a holiday from exercises from practicing but not tomorrow tomorrow you must practice okay take good care of yourselves bye good night good night sir. Good night, sir. thank good you night, sir. Good, night. Good, night. good night good night good night take care take care